Okay, flight to freedom is a what if technique off of locked wing. In locked wing, I step back and I elbow and I claw the face and I break the arm. In flight to freedom, they stop our action by blocking that initial attempt for the elbow. Um, between the two of them, we'd rather do locked wing because in locked wing, we're constantly facing our opponent, which is important. Uh, and in flight to freedom, just by design, if they block it, I turn my back to them, um, which I would rather not do. I'd rather go ahead and do locked wing. However, flight doesn't mean it's, a, it's not a good technique. It just means that flight to freedom, we have to do that to take them on the flight part. Okay, so, so basically, uh, the exact same attack where it's an attempted hammer lock and they're cranking me around. Obviously, I'm not just gonna stand there and let it happen. So um, I'll back up just a hair, Matt. Is as he as he pulls up, I drop back and I go right to the forward bow. Okay. By the way, if I go to a forward bow and face, try and he's blocking, I'm gonna keep pushing. It, it's hard for him to stop that. If I do a, a lazy neutral bow, that's very easy to block. Okay. And he doesn't have to. He just puts his hand up and I have nothing behind that. I'm already off balance. Okay. So I I, I face my work. And I, but he blocks that. So I step and I I take him on a flight and I'm gonna back kick him. And I flip him around, I pop his arm, and then I do a left front snap kick to his knee, and I cross, break his arm one more time. I go a little bit higher above his elbow for safety, and I'm out. Okay, so we try this again. So I pin step cock on the initial move, boom, and I, he blocks that. So I'm going to take him on a flight. Now, I'm going to go to reverse cat. Some people do this in a neutral bow, but if, if you just back up a hair mat. If I back kick from here, I'm not going to kick it. If I back kick from here, I'm kind of maxed out. But if I go to my reverse cat, I have more travel for my kick. It's going to do more damage. Okay? So try to hit the reverse cat. The other thing is don't go to 12 o'clock after the elbow where the person's right behind hovering you. Take a zone of sanctuary about 1.30. Okay? So here we go. So I drop back. Heavy blocks it. I step. I pull him. See, I back kick, pop it up, I pop his arm. Lots of options here. I kick his knee. <laughs> and I snap his arm. Now, in the extension, if he's still hanging around, I spin and I go after his kidney. And I hop into the groin, into the thigh, and I side kick his opposite knee, maybe on the way up. I might break his ankle as well. Okay? So we're going to piece it together one more time. Flight to freedom. So I go pin step cock, and he blocks that. Take him on a flight, little pull, kick him, pop his arm. Now, of course, I can just go into cross and tell him many options. I kick his knee, I snap his arm. I use bear to grab him and torque here. Walk, boom, knee, knee to pop, side kick, I'm out of there. And that is flight to freedom.